Kaya, Badger Abroad in Thailand here. So I get a lot of questions from tourists asking them what's the best bike to hire while I'm in Thailand in Phuket. And so my, my answer to that question would be, depends on your experience. If you're not an experienced rider, don't think because you're on holiday that you can get a big bike. You'll kill yourself. I would say that an N Max for a tourist going around just to see the island is, is enough. You don't need anything bigger than that really if you're not an experienced rider. Likewise, I would say if you are an experienced rider, there's no point in getting the T Max or a bigger bike like that because you are on holiday, you feel like you can do more than what you would in your normal country. So you're more likely to speed, do stuff that you wouldn't normally do find yourselves in accidents, getting broken bones and ruining your holiday. I've personally, I've had the M-Max, I've had the T-Max and now I've got the X-Max. And the reason why I've got the X-Max is, it's obviously it's in the middle of the road, it's a 300cc engine, sits very comfortable around town, going slowly, there's no wobble and it has a massive under seat storage. There's enough storage space in here to fit two full-size crash helmets or a week's worth of shopping. You've got an area to put your mobile phone and another one which has got a charging port in so you can put a USB charger in and charge your phone up. It also comes with traction control. Personally, I find the traction control a bit annoying because when you're going down the road, if you do happen to go over something a bit slippery or uneven, it drowns the power out. So to turn the, turn the traction control off, you just hold down the trip info button, like so. It will say traction control off, you'll get a warning and that gives you a lot more of a sustained power should you slip on something. So if you find yourself parking up and you've forgotten where you park the bike, if you're in a car park, what you can do, it comes with an electronic key. So you can just press the key and it'll go off and it lights up as well. A lot of people ask what the top speed is on the bike. Personally, I've had 150 kilometers an hour out of this bike and it sits happily at 130 with two people on. There's a road that goes from somewhere around about Krabi to Koh Samui, which is about 125 kilometers long. I sat pretty much the whole way on that road doing 130 for an hour, the bike was happy. So some driving tips for when driving in Thailand. If you're going down a straight road and you see a junction, someone coming towards the junction, they are going to pull straight out into your path. They will not look, they will not even care that you're there. So that you need to be aware as soon as you see someone coming towards you, you need to move over because they will cause an accident. Likewise, when you're going down the fast moving road, what we would call an A road or a motorway in, the, in England, you will typically find people doing twice the speed limit will come up behind you. They're very aggressive in their style of driving. They'll flash their lights, they'll bib at you. If you're in the road like this, they'll try and force you into the, the ditch or the armco. As you need to be aware of these people. If you see a fast moving vehicle coming up behind you, indicate to go to the slower lane and get out of their way. So, just to give you a quick update, I received some uh, emails yesterday as I was editing the video that I, I filmed yesterday. And uh, they seemed relevant to, to the film I was trying to make, so I, I thought I'd show you guys now uh, what to do. So one of the questions was, was how do I put the bike on the centre stand safely? So if you want to come around dark and we'll show them how to do so. So what you want to do is get the centre stand flat. That's flat. See? And then you just push down with your leg. This is a 206 kilo bike dry weight and you saw how easy that was. And then when you're releasing it, you put it down. And then make sure you have the side stand ready for it to go back down. But one of the other questions was, how do I make sure that the bike is safe to ride? How do I check to see if the brakes work? So that I can really say that you need to test them. So to do so, I would suggest that you get on the bike first and give it a good rock back and forward, see if there's any grip on the bike. 
Then go up to 20 km an hour, push down hard on the brakes, 40 km an hour, back kilometers an hour, push down hard on the brakes. If you continue going forward, then you know your brakes aren't really good. And you do need to test the brakes here if you can, because there are a lot of mountains. It's no good finding out that the brakes don't work when you're going down a mountain. Also, I was asked about um, how do I check to see if the wheels are okay. Come back round, focus on the wheel. So the wheels have bearings. When the bearings go, the wheel will wobble. As you see, this doesn't wobble. If your wheels wobble, then it's a bad motorcycle and don't don't hire it. To do the front, you just get your friend. To do the front, you just get one of your friends to push down on the back. This will make the front rise up. You do the same on the front. Just give it a wobble, make sure it's all good and tight. Um, and that's it for today. Um, oh no, sorry, I forget. Uh, one more thing, I was asked about uh, checking damage on the bike. So just go around the bike, take pictures of the bike, pointing out any damage. So if there's a bit of damage here, point it on your finger, take a picture. Also afterwards, go around the bike, take in a video, a slow video, just in case you've missed anything. So you want to go around the bike, just tracking it, in case there is any damage that you haven't missed. There are unscrupulous uh, characters here that will say that you've damaged the bike when it was already damaged. Uh, but apart from that, I think that's it. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you all stay safe. Goodbye me. Hope to see you in Thailand soon.